Hello, I'm Dr. Tsui, the acupuncturist, herbalist, of course, the artist. Today, I'm going to talk about two things. Number one, I'm going to talk about this painting. Number two, I'm going to talk about how to be a best artist. So, first things, I'm going to talk about this painting. So, you can see this painting and I have needles. That's the acupuncture needles. I use acupuncture needles to create art and uh, use the uh, uh, the feelings of uh, acupuncture people, viewer, you know, and think about the acupuncture, think about uh, Chinese medicine. Of course, that's a part of me. And uh, so I use these uh, needles to create the art. And of course, you can view this artwork, just to put the paintings on the table, and the needles uh, stick out. And uh, you can see. Uh, you can have a different feelings and uh, have a different depths and also spiritually this, uh, this is very educational and uh, very uh, so spiritual so because uh, if you go home you think about the uh, paintings if you remember my paintings if you watch the video if you remember my video and uh, that's uh, more you know spiritual and uh, so, uh, you, you first uh, physical work and you review it and go through your brain and to digest the information and you go home you still think about the needles and uh, what the acupuncturists do and what the acupuncturist says and uh, about this art so if you're going to think about it you're not forget me and you think about this uh, art so that's uh, the very spiritual things and uh, continuation of uh, thinking and hopefully you can spread out that's kind of feeling to helping yourself physically to understand about the yin and yang, five elements, and uh, the Chinese culture, how to balance the system, and uh, what the Confucius says, what the Buddhists doing. You know, all those things, uh, if I get those things, just a part of it, and uh, I think uh, I'm helping a lot more people, and uh, also, and uh, to push the envelope more and uh, to bring the, the new things for the humankind. So this is the artwork and uh, here I, uh, I stand up and you see the work and uh, of course you cannot see the needles that's well but then you ask uh, what they are uh, the, the stuff there and actually I use the tubes that's the one hold the acupuncture needles to guide it to do acupuncture. So I use, I think about the many years how to use these tubes to create the art. So that's why I do these things uh, to do. And uh, of course, it's very spiritual. And uh, you can think about how to uh, do the acupuncture, how they guide the needles in to the skin. And uh, of course, they want the dots, the, that's the purple dots there. That's the one, the pieces hold the needles. So the, uh, when you, before you tap in, so you need to take that out, then you tap the needles in. So that's uh, the top of, through the skin. So that's how the, uh, that's the one to hold the needles. So this, uh, I use that, drop it, and then uh, more like uh, the glue on, and then uh, create the art. And uh, of course on the side here, you can see what I signed, I put the Picasso there. Actually, I like, uh, this can be a part of Picasso's poetry. I do many, but this is, can be the other way to do it. And the Picasso, so they can twist the art a little bit, but uh, you know, we try, try to twist the Picasso's poetry. So how the Picasso's poetry look like, okay? So of course, you may say that, hey, that's not really look like a Picasso, exactly. So we don't want you, that's look like a Picasso, or you can think about Picasso. That's a completely different things. So, and uh, see, also your spiritual continuation, then they are taken into your brain and uh, push you to do different things. And uh, if you, I think Picasso really pushed me a little bit more and they gave me uh, the energy, creativity energy a lot. So I love him a lot. So that's why uh, I cannot uh, without thinking about him. 
So uh, that's the things, and of course here on the side here, I sign my signature there. So that's the uh, that's the signature, and you can see my name there. I have a copyright, and uh, also I write down the the, the dates. Of course, uh, I like to be original. So that's about this painting. So now I'm going to talk about uh, what, how to become best artist. So of course, uh, you know, my from my opinion, I think it's the uh, be a best artist. So uh, like I have uh, one video already, and uh, so to be yourself, and uh, that's uh, very important. So be yourself. This is more like a try to. Do whatever you can to be yourself and be the best yourself. And uh, of course, uh, uh, the you have a process at the beginning, like you grow up, you do keep doing, go to school, you learn from professor, you learn from teacher, you learn from artist, you learn from old master, and all those things of learning you uh, you enjoy. But that is not necessary. It's good art. So it can be art, but not necessarily the best art. And uh, so you want to be a best art, so you really want to uh, know everything, try to know everything. Of course, you're still going to miss here or there. So, you know, even the art book or the college or the, uh, uh, the museum or the gallery. So you go to, so right now the information age, I visit the galleries, so visit the museum. And uh, and uh, computer, and uh, I can visit uh, so many gallery uh, a few hours uh, uh, every night. Sometimes uh, like uh, 10, 20 galleries, and uh, of course I visit the museum. Repeat uh, so many things. So you get into those information, get to the brain. For me to go to the gallery to look at the museum, I really enjoy the arts uh, most of the time. But of course, some arts I not enjoy so much. Not means they are very bad. Anything, just uh, different levels and uh, different enjoyments. But that's uh, the art they are creating. But uh, for me, I yeah, trust a little bit more. Not only just look at the arts, so I enjoy. But at the same time, I try to not. Uh, I try to avoid be them, and because uh, see, I get bored if I going to. Uh, look, the the art is more like uh, somebody else, and um, all those years I create arts, I I just uh, cannot try to. Uh, if anybody say that this work look like somebody, I really uh, don't like that, and uh, because uh, I really wants to be myself, and uh, so uh, be to enjoy the art and uh, create arts is a little different. And uh, I do enjoy a lot of arts work in the museum, galleries, different galleries, but uh, I really hate to uh, be exactly like them or even to be the arts work even close to them. So that's why I see, uh, I did, my opinion is uh, not only just uh, be yourself, so you really have to educate yourself to uh, of course, it's not really copy them, and actually, so on the different levels, try to avoid be them, and uh, so you have to jump out the out of a box. So it's not going to be uh, in their shoes, and of course, see, I create art, so, uh, so paintings or not a painting or sculpture. So you see, that's why I see uh, so 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 different. So these paintings, you can see, oh, this is a, can be a sculpture or this is actually paintings. So you can hang in. And uh, so it's very questionable. Of course, that's the envelope I push. And uh, also, the needles, you when you're so close, so you're going to see the, why use the needles. So the needles, so talk about the yin and yang, the needles is very harsh, sharp. That is uh, belong to yang. And the canvas is very soft and uh, white. They more belong to, uh, they belong to yin compared with the needles. Of course, then the canvas itself is white, and then the right up and this is a little dark. So, so that's belong to yin. White belong to yin. This is a little dark belong to yin. And uh, I write with that. So that's uh, the today. So I'm going to help you understand more. 
we talk more. Thank you for watching.